Japan accounts for about 20% of the world's earthquakes of magnitude 6 or greater. They can cause tremendous damage. However, in Japan, various technologies have been developed to overcome those disasters. This video shows examples of Japanese construction techniques that combine the characteristics of quality, speed, and accident-free construction. In April 2016, Kumamoto Prefecture, in the south of Japan, suffered a magnitude 7 earthquake. It destroyed the Aso-Ohashi Bridge on the only arterial route in this region. As this bridge serves as a vital traffic artery and tourist route, there was pressure to reopen it as soon as possible. A new bridge was built approximately 600 meters downstream from the Aso-Ohashi Bridge. Its construction considered surrounding nature, including a nature park, and precautions to protect from damage caused by earthquakes and landslides. The new bridge, Shin Aso-Ohashi, is 525 meters long. The largest span between pillars is 165 meters and the maximum pillar height is 97 meters. It is one of the largest bridges of this type in Japan. As a disaster recovery project, the most pressing issues were to shorten the construction period and to reopen the bridge as soon as possible. The geological and climatic conditions unique to this region made the construction of one of the largest scale pre-stressed concrete rigid frame bridges in Japan a highly challenging task. Let's look at the Japanese technologies. Despite difficult conditions and pressure to reopen the route as soon as possible, these technologies shortened the construction period by 16 months. First, inclined elevators of the largest class in Japan were deployed, providing a maximum 60-ton capacity. Bridge construction in steep terrain usually involves building a construction pier and positioning cranes to transport materials and equipment to and from the pier. However, the topography of the construction area, the only gap in this mountain, generates high winds all year, making it difficult for cranes to safely transport construction materials, heavy machinery, sand, and soil. To avoid these risks, inclined elevators were installed on both banks of the river. These inclines use winches to hoist a platform up and down a track. They can carry two heavy vehicles such as dump trucks or concrete mixers. Using inclines allowed the safe, stable, and efficient transport of construction materials, heavy equipment, soil and sand. Secondly, the construction of piers employed a self-climbing system and rebar prefabrication. If standard methods were used to construct the 97-meter-high piers of the Shin Aso-Ohashi Bridge, scaffolding and formwork assembly would normally take a significant period of time. However, by integrating scaffolding and formwork assembly into a self-climbing system raised by hydraulic jacks, the workload was reduced and the construction period shortened. Thirdly, a very large mobile operating platform was employed for bridge girder construction.
The girder sections of the Shin Aso Ohashi Bridge were constructed using a cantilever overhang method. It employed a very large mobile operating platform with a capacity three times normal. One mobile operating platform is suspended from each end of the completed part of the bridge girder. It steadily advances as the girder is extended while maintaining the balance between both ends. The rails are advanced first, then the platform is guided along the rails. Next, supported by the platform, formwork is set up, rebar and other steelwork is assembled, and concrete is poured. When sufficiently strong, pre-stressing is applied. The rails are advanced again and the cycle repeats. Finally, the construction period was minimized by 24-hour workdays. In September, 2020, with the help of local elementary school pupils, the last concrete was poured, and the last gap was bridged. In March 2021, the Shin Aso Ohashi Bridge, a symbol of reconstruction after the Kumamoto earthquake, was reopened. By introducing various technologies to promote early reconstruction, the construction period was reduced by 16 months compared to the standard period. The opening day was achieved without any accidents or disasters.